everybody. Hello. That's better. <laughs> I can actually get closer to her now. Yeah, I got rid of that big old cushion that I had to have. Got the stitches out, got rid of the cushion. I'm doing good, guys. I'm doing good. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shout Outs. I know. That was Mojo. That's your shout outs. You want to be in shout outs? There he is. Here's Mojo digging her claws into my leg. Okay, our first shout out. We need thoughts and prayers, guys. Greg Meyer's cousin Brian fell down the stairs and he ruptured his spleen Ooh. and he has in internal bleeding. So please, everybody, keep Greg Meyer's cousin Brian and their entire family in your thoughts and prayers. Greg, we will be thinking of you and your cousin Brian. Okay. Um, Tracy Quick said she feels very sorry for Pammy Clinton and her daughter Dior for their accident. Um, like herself and like me, um, we are all accident prone and she just wants me to give everybody a warning in the community that it may be contagious. <laughs> I'm not accident prone. <laughs> I never, I never have accidents. Okay, and Robert's, re the Robert's reality. That was the original channel, and it was Robert's reality, and then they stopped vlogging, and then they came back as Landon and family, and they stopped, and then they came back as Life with Anthony. But he's decided to go back to where he started, the Robert's reality. So, everybody that was following Landon and family and Life with Anthony that was originally following Robert's reality and was always asking me, where is he, where is he? Go back to the Robert's reality, because he's back. But everybody, just go check out the Robert's reality because he's back. And give him a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and show him some love. Okay, and oh, you know, this is very difficult to do with a cat on your lap. Oh, and claws in your leg. Alyssa Page thinks that our ending yesterday on our regular vlog with the Ewok dancing um, around should be our, our regular ending from now on. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm just going to call Kevin uh, the dancing Ewok from now on. Okay, and yesterday we didn't answer the procrastinating question. So I have some other people that were late on answering that. So I'm going to do that and then we're going to answer ours. So Cole today procrastinates over hobbies and crafts because she can't do them until her yard work and housework is done. <laughs> Are you, are you OCD, Cole? Just wondering. Because that kind of sounds like a little OCD. Because most people would do the hobbies first and then worry about the work. Just check it. Just check it. Tanya Longley procrastinates over the holidays because it's hard for her to split her time between her niece's house and her parents' house. Understandable. Susie here procrastinates over crafting, especially when there's a big job that she has to do. I can relate. Jess Lucero was procrastinating over paying for their Disney World trip. Got that taken care of. And he's procrastinating over shingling the roof. He promised his wife he would have it done by spring. Now. It's hard to do it in the winter. I Pose a little contest. Jess Lucero getting the roof done against Kevin getting the floor done. Just saying. 
I'm already ha that's not fair because I'm almost halfway through the floor. Ha Jess, have you started the roof at all or you haven't even started? Question, you know, let, let's see where you're at, Jess. Let us know if this is a fair contest. Just checking. Cameo Vlogs, welcome to the neighborhood. And now my question from yesterday was, do you have any premonitions or dreams that actually came true? Tanya Longley says, none that she can remember, but she has had feelings of deja vu. Kind of like the same thing. Jess Lucero has had a strange dream, and in the dream, he realized what was happening was too weird to be real and that it had to be a dream. Does that make sense? I think I got that right, Jess. Let me know. Terry Johnson dreamt about her parents being in a fire and seeing a clown's head on fire. And her parents were at the Hotel MGM Grand in Las Vegas when it was on fire and out their bedroom window they could see the marquee of the Circus Circus Clown. I think I got that right, Terry. Let me know if, I've, <clears throat> if I said it wrong. The Abyss 92882 was at a convalescent home where his step-grandpa was with, his, with the family. And this was, his dream was in 2006 or 2007, and his step-grandpa passed away in 2011. Did he pass away the same way in your dream, the abyss? Yeah. You, you didn't make that clear, so I'm not sure. Cole today, she is glad she does not have any premonitions or her dreams don't come true because she has <laughs> night terrors. I used to have those. Yeah. Jessica C.T., her dreams are too unrealistic to come true, she says. Crimson Fairy, she saw at 12 years old she had a dream that she had a baby girl, and she saw her daughter wearing, um, do, 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 was it overalls? Blue overalls. Blue overalls. And she got, after her daughter was born, she was given... A, blue, a set of blue overalls. And she had that dream that she had a baby girl and Got it. the baby was wearing them. Uh, Betsy Wetsy. This is a little different. She has a reoccurring dream that there's a house collapsing. And it's the same house in all her dreams about this house collapsing. And then finally, in one of her dreams, the house actually collapses. So, what's behind the meaning of that dream? Don't know. Okay, so, have you ever had a dream or a premonition? Never. Ever. Never? No. I have. Of course I, you have. I, I've had too many. Um, one right off of the top of my head is, I was living in California, my parents lived in New York, now they live in North Carolina. They lived in New York, and I had a dream that my mother fell and hurt her hip. And it was winter, and it was icy. I woke up that morning, and I called my mom, and sure enough, she had fallen that night and hurt her hip. Okay, my question for today is, if you could be any age you want for the rest of your life, what age would you pick and why? It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. <laughs> All right. All right. Ah. So last night's question was really simple. Uh, it was about aliens, 1986. What did they use for the, the voice or the screech of the aliens? Uh, in that movie. I don't think they had one in the first movie because I don't think it ever said anything. But they actually used, uh, they took baboon recordings and then they just messed with them in post-production to get that, that bizarre sound. 
It so. was really me. So it was um, uh, Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, Kate Today, and Greg Myers got that correct. Kate Today? Cole Today. That's what I said. Sorry, Cole. Yay! Okay, and today's might be uh, a little bit interesting. You may have to actually do a little uh, research to find out this one. Um, it was uh, about the director, Sam Raimi, who's uh, very well known for such movies as Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness, The Gift. He did the, the earliest Super uh, Spider-Man, Darkman, uh, everything that had Bruce Campbell in it. Um, there is something that shows up in all of his films since the very first one. It shows up in every film, including, I'm not going to say what, but it, it, it shows up in films that you wouldn't expect it to show up in. Uh, what was it? And there's one movie that it didn't show up in, but that's only because it got edited out. Which movie was that? And that is my... There you have it, your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. Thank you for watching us. We love you very much. <laughs> Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.